Hi, my name is Stacy, and I am going to cook in my Ninja Foodie. I am going to cook lamb chops in my Ninja Foodie. I am going to use Lowry salt because that is my salt of choice, and I'm going to use some olive oil. And I'm going to cook it on my rack on the lower setting. And then I'll stick it in the pot. So obviously, you take your... I'll lower the camera. Well, why don't I do this first, huh? Ick. We will season with olive oil on this side. Rub it in. I'm going to rub it in. Obviously, after you have washed your hands. So we all know how gross that is, especially nowadays. And I'm going to sprinkle with Lowry salt. Too big to hold with one hand. There. Then I will take and flip them over and to my rack here. Let's see how many I can fit on here. I have 10 of them. We'll see. If I can fit all 10, I might be able to do that. Actually, if I move them around. Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh, I can get like 9 on the board. And 10. Good. All right, I got 10. Let's put that over there. Now I'm going to do the other side with a little olive oil. I'll just pat it down because if I start wiping, they're all going to move. Nice hand moisturizer. My hands need to be moisturized after gardening all these days. I'm going to sprinkle some more Lowry salt on it. You can go as heavy as you want. I don't do cracked pepper or regular salt or any other seasoning. And now I'm going to take and put it in my... I can't do this with two hands and move the camera. Let's see. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go over here to my Ninja Foodie. I guess we should have the light on. More videos are done more professionally, but I am not a professional video taker. I'm going to place them in here, like so. They look good. Hopefully they'll cook up nice. Then, since my hand is still all greasy, I guess I should have put gloves on. Close the lid, turn the puppy on, and I'm gonna do it with a bake roast. Bake it 375. And I'm going to go for 20 minutes because everybody, all their videos are saying anywhere between 15 and 20. And I'm going to hit start. And then I will hopefully be able to start this and come back again. Okay, so I'm halfway there. I'm going to open up the lid. Oh, they look superb. Look, they look really good. Yum. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn them over one at a time. Be careful because the lid, the whole pot is hot. So these should come out medium to medium, medium rare to medium. Normally we like our meat, you know, medium rare to medium. You up there? No, he went for a drive. Sure, make another pot of coffee. What? It's only 7.30 in the evening. Yeah, it's 7.30 on a Monday. <laughs> okay. That looks superb. So while this is cooking up for another 10 minutes or so, close the lid. Looks good. Yep. I cut some potatoes. I sprinkled a little salt on it. I got my water set aside so that I can 
make, we'll see if I can't make mashed potatoes pressure cooking the potatoes. I, I don't, I've never tried it before. I'm very, very new to the Ninja Foodie. And I was very reluctant to open up the box too, like everybody else. But I decided I bought it. I might as well use it. And it's only going to get hotter here. Although it's kind of chilly tonight here in Washington. And um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Come back in about eight minutes. Or I'll come back when it's done. Yeah. And then I'll put the potatoes in and we'll see how that goes. Let me know if it doesn't Good. start over again. So it looks like they're done. Oh, they look delicious and the house just smells absolutely wonderful. So now I'm gonna carefully take the basket out and put it on here. And then I will take the potatoes that I have here and leave the juice in there, drop that in. And then I'm gonna pour some water in like that. And then I need my pressure cooker lid because I want the potatoes to cook fast super fast. Put my cr pressure cooker lid on, lock it in place, hit the power, hit pressure high, and we'll go for, let's see, how long does it take potatoes to get pressurized? We'll go for five minutes. But look at those pork chops. Don't those look delicious? Oh my gosh. And I will cut into them with the potatoes when all is said and done. Okay. Well, I have to say 20 minutes is perfect with a flip in between. Look at that. It's still pink, but it's cooked all the way through. And it tastes delicious. So we'll see how the potatoes come out. And uh, we'll come back in a couple minutes and I'll let you know. Okay, so I'm no expert. Let's see how the potatoes turned out. Crack the lid. Let the water drip off. And we're going to take my fork and stab the potato. Oh, nice and mushy. Great, wonderful. So now I'm going to just take these out with some salt, butter, a little bit of milk, and ah, make mashed potatoes. So... Okay, so that's it. I've got my stuff for my mashed potatoes, and I'm just going to put the potatoes in there and mash them up, and we're going to have lamb chops and mashed potatoes. And I already devoured one lamb chop, and it was absolutely the best I've ever cooked. I couldn't, couldn't have called it better in the oven because the oven would not have done it justice. I guess I could turn the oven off now. <laughs> so y'all have a good night, and that was cooked in a Ninja foodie pressure cooker air crisper contraption enjoy